What's up, beautiful people? My name is Karen Jusa, and this is Unfinished, where we get to finish unfinished business. We are in the streets of Nairobi, ready to break down the conversation that revolves around suicide. Yes, many a times when people feel like giving up, especially now that the economy is a bit tight and people are feeling like, ugh, I gotta let go. Do not do it just yet. This is the conversation that we're going to have and I hope it brightens up your day. Karibuni Sana, head over to our Facebook page and let us know what you think about these four questions. They say that suicide is the act of injuring oneself to the point of death. Now, suicide cases have gone up in our country and the rest of the world. However, in some countries, they have managed to decriminalize suicide. It brings us to our first question. Why do you think suicide is considered a crime in some countries? Suicide basically is more, uh, mostly brought by maybe how the, chair, the kid has been brought up, number one. Then there's some families where um, the brought up is not okay and basically what I've experienced is a polygamous family where um, the child has been abandoned and uh, was uh, the birth was given and he has been abandoned, struggling himself to educate himself. So basically, getting all this pressure from the world and he's struggling alone and the parents also are there, you see, and the other children, you see what they are going through, they are being educated well. So you see, you get the, all this pressure, considering why am I like this, you see? Why why me? Like, why, why the other kids are being... I mean, the, the parents are taking care of them and me, I'm just struggling on myself. So I think basically always, um, there comes where they always say, come on, Evie, um, basi, watch and tuchu, ni fanya tu suicide, let, let me take my life so that I can be in peace. So that's basically, I think that's what uh, bring suicide mostly. Then another thing, peer pressure, um, this uh, the the lifestyle how some people are what the youth live their life and how you live the, your life so if you put this into comparison then you realize that your life is more pathetic than the other person so basically comparison of youth uh, youthful life and peer pressure from the other youth it's your own decision so i don't think it can be a crime and a crime is usually something that is done against somebody and you've just done it to yourself. So I don't think it can be a crime. Suicide on the first part ki criminalizewa and you are doing your me affect you and uh your suicidal thoughts when you wanna do so gavel on interrupt your ne come on king is a law maybe later make a change like in his dani may make any change. Uh in fact the new us we all know that this life that you have it's God given. And whenever we take it away, it's like committing sin and not honoring God. Because why should you maybe commit suicide because of something that you find you can even solve it? So I don't think it's necessary to commit suicide. But instead, you should just like try harder on whatever is disturbing you and see if you can get a solution about it. As a normal person, it's not just even advisable for for one to commit suicide. Like tunasema nga kujitwa uhai manze nasi ya kosiki to kwa unona. So ata actually nowadays mtu akijitwa uhai ata hiyo ni case like ata ki attempt si no joto ku attempt to pia. Ju hakuna ufai mtu afai kujitwa uhai ata kukuaje. Yeah. But when you want to put it to and a bad one struggle trend, they maneuver. So, at a common in any how far you move to a five in a kidito, I am a key attempt na a particane, maybe a two and a fat cool year. Because I need to know Fanyanga to know following Ville, okay, according to the Bible, uh, where Hauna 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 right here could could be to a life, Hauna check a life could be could be you are checking. So according to Mimi, Gava ikufanya vibaya kuweka yo ikiwa lo like rule a team say ki try kuzimada ikwe ni mbaya ju. Pia goda mekata yo ki tunacheki. 
Eh mi, mi nadhani it's right na miss you niki mbaya. Inafaa kwa hivyo koza kuna msi ako na control ya life yake. Hakuna msi alijileta hii dunia. Maget so as in unaweza ataka kujua but mamako hataki ukufe. Unaweza ataka kujua but gava itaki ukufe. So as in life ni something no one has control over it. It's something that um, yeah, ni kitu ime umejipata. Yeah. Umejipata tu. So sidani inafakuwa crime kujaribu kui end. Si kitu kizuri. It's not yani it's not the right decision. When you have a depression, you just look for somebody you trust who can help you get through it. Most of the times, as well as I do know, unitangwa malia gava kutoka the time when you unengia primary. So, kawini malia government, of course, if you try to kill yourself, that's a government property. I mean. <laughs> okay, that's my understanding. <laughs> no one has the right to commit suicide because it's God who chooses when you should die or when you should live more. So killing yourself is very, very wrong. Because that is taking a life. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Taking a life is some, it's a climb. Sorry. Even if it's your own life, mm -hmm. it's only God who should take your life. Attempted suicide is a mental health problem amongst young people. They continue to treat it as a crime. So it turns out, if you manage to do to commit suicide, it is punishable. However, there is no one to punish for that crime, if at all it is successful. But if you attempt and it fails, chances are you're going to jail. Now, if you're going to go to jail, you're going to be fined. In our country, it is a crime. The reason because is, one, it is God-given life. You are given life. You do not have a chance or a reason to take it out. That is the argument by the Constitution, okay, and by God. So those of you who feel or are attempting suicide, just know it's punishable. Try find people you can talk to, especially me. Follow me on Instagram. Let me know what's up. If something is bothering you, please talk to someone. Do not let it kill you. Now let's head over to our second question, which, by the way, is stressing many Kenyans. And we want to know what exactly is stressing Kenyans. Vijana wa mstresika ni vitu moba kwanza kwa drugs kuachwa uh, masturbation stuff uh, vitu mingi kukosa kazi wengine wanakosa njia za ku make it yani njia za kuweka living kila siku wanaamka so hiyo ina way stress system out sasa hii kwanza kitu ya kwanza ni pesa hii maisha bila pesa like Always easy. Do everything in the economy. Say in Mbaya. Say you kitaka kwenda kwa duka and ukule lazima kuna pesa. Another thing, do upata yo pesa ni job. Kama una kazi, kwa jobless. Stress tu ina kuingia. Unafikiria jioni, utakula nini. Like, ina kwa tu small, stressful. Utingina tena ni ku about relationship. Kuna vijana wengi wamepatikana into stressful relationship na watu. Penye kila asubuhi ni vurugu. Yaani someone is into someone's life sana. Hadi yani hadi <coughs> someone cannot stay without talking to each other. Na kwa stress magombana asubuhi vitu mingi tu sana. So maybe pia background. Background matters a lot. Yani kuna some backgrounds unaweza kuwa held up. Unafikiria nyumbani, wewe ndio umefaulu kwenda mahali kuna kazi. Unaona nyumbani there is nothing. So na kwa to stress kwako. When I speak of the youth because obviously I'm a youth, you get someone has studied he or she has, uh, has graduated, but employment in a kuashida. Unapata mtu wana try vile anaweza because of getting some work, but ana end up kukua ana kazi. So you know, you'll be like, no, I've tried, I've studied, 
I have everything and I'm not go, I'm not getting any job. So lazima mtu atakuwa stressed and I think that's one of the reason that inafanya mtu it can lead you to depression and later on you commit suicide. So I think that that is one of the views that I can say about stress in inafanya watu wana make bad decisions. Yeah. They're not okay. Um, plus corruption, kinda. Because on that point, to, to say me, you want something. Right now, in this country, like many people want to acquire things through corruption. Like, to say me, Mimi, I have, I have studied or I have money. So when I when I get a chance somewhere, ni mimi mwenye niko na pesa ndo nitachukuliwa, si ndio? And ule mwenye hana but akona experience or something greater atabaki hapo. So inapea mtu to stress. Employment that is number 1 because uh, you spend me uh, you spend a thousands of money or millions of money educating yourself, yeah. So after that you see the expectation is that uh, you want to refund back the money. So when you ref want to refund back the money, the focus always is uh, employment. So when the employment is not there and also there's a pressure from maybe the sponsor or the parents, we thought we educate you to, I mean, we can get better from you or, uh, I mean, we can, at least our life can be better when we get you to school. So now in a fika point that there's no job, maybe if, for some years, so there's a pressure. So that pressure alone, I think, affects that uh, during the youth age, yeah. Peer pressure. So like, you'll find I want to fit in a certain group of friends. Then I, ha I don't have those qualifications to, to do it. So I'll, I'll look so stressed up because I want to please you, Karen, but sina is all pesa ama anything and I feel so unloved at the moment. Kwa sahi economy kupanda, you know, mafuta and all those things usually in state zimepanda bay. Unakuta mtu hali yake ya maisha lazima itabadilika. Kukula, yani unapatata hiyo unga. Okay, not all people struggle with that of course. Kuna tabaka la chini la la juu. So, because there's that move with the prices and the essential goods that we need, that move, that, that move only is going to affect everyone. Wait a jiri, move skinny, so it causes a bit of a stress, you know, because the things have to change. In that. Okay. Eh, tuko pabaya kasi si was okay me ni kids introduce me name sani i'm drozo that's what they call me who was streets so maisha kwanza kama mimi kama sani okay kuna maisha yenye unaishi ya kiusani na sasa kuna life nje ya camera sasa una cheki so uh, kusema ati life ni ngumu manze life ni ngumu kwa kila mse yeah, na tuna work hard manze sasa okay <laughs> the question yeah. yeah. ile kwa gani <laughs> what is stressing them stressing them manze economy bila okay eh uh, economy ko ni 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 sasa nda semani <laughs> like ni mbaya yeah ni mbaya tuko tuna shida ya culture zin to instead ya ku solve shida zetu Tunataka tu ku blame someone. So mina dani it's something as kama Kenyans ni shida kwetu as in yes economy ni mbaya but si Kenya peke yake world wide iko hivyo as in covid ime hit wase kila mahali hadi wazungu. So me I guess tunapenda ku blame sana gava nini nini but I guess it's our culture to know how to do a Yeah, to know adapt with what to know how creative to solve she does it. Yeah. Family matters. Also, school. Like some people studying too hard, it's stressful to them. How to get to how you acquire money? Like basically money. Yeah. Just say that again. 
like money like the concepts about money like you know there's this stuff like peer pressure you see your friend has this you want to get that and you don't know what they are doing uh, uh, to earn that money life is hard <laughs> yeah life is hard and you know it tends some people try to find ways means to survive even their families maybe sometimes they reject them and they think that it's not worthy living and maybe relationships when you go to your partner your partner even doesn't want to hear you out and then you think suicide is the best <laughs> yeah but it's not an alternative because for me i would not advise someone to take life because of because life is hard everyone is struggling as you walk around town as you go about your business i'm pretty sure you've had people saying i am stressed out now one of the main reasons as to why most Kenyans are actually stressed out is because we are just from a pandemic. This is the post-pandemic period. These are the results of a pandemic. One, the economy is imbalanced. At the moment, people do not have money in their pockets or for their luxury stays and whatever. So people are in need. Some people don't even have food. People have lost their jobs because of COVID. Till today, Hajawi Pata job in Guinea. Man, it's, it's a crisis, it's an economic crisis all over the world. Another thing that is stressing Kenyans is mafuta. Beya mafuta imeenda ju. That is why Bede Squeeze ya kunanga jam. Have you noticed Nairobi streets, they are quite empty. They are quite empty. Not unless you're rich, okay? Anyway, moving forward. Let's take a short break. We will be back with two more questions.